Okay, you guys. Oh, hey, welcome to my channel, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you guys. Holy cow, I was totally going to upload another video today. Like, I legit had it uploaded, tags, all the stuff. And then I found something, and I was like, bump that. This other video is more important. This is revolutionary, you guys. Anybody who uses mods and CC, this is like a godsend. Like, I cannot believe this exists. And I never realized that it was, like, I thought this software, it's the Sims 4 Studio, obviously. And I always thought that this was just to create mods or to create CC or whatever. I was not aware that it had a practical use for those who do not do, like, mod creating or CC creating. So we're going to get this in our game, and then I'm going to show you exactly what it can do for you, and you will be amazed. So you're welcome. Let's get to it. So you want to go to the Sims 4 Studio. I'll have everything linked below as usual. And you want to download it onto your computer. Um, now, what I do know about this is it does technically work a little bit better for PCs than Mac. So, um, you know, but you could try for Mac. It's, it's more iffy with Mac. So PCs are just better, dudes. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Once you get to this page, you're going to go right here where it says Download Sims 4 Studio. And then you're going to go down here. Where is the download button? I just did this on my other computer. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the Apple version, Candy Apple. That's adorable. And then this is the Windows version. It's called Wishes. I don't know why they named it so adorably, but thanks, peeps. And then you go in here, and this is just a brief overview of, like, blah, 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 all the different things you can do, which is cool and all. And maybe someday I'll get into creating mods and stuff but I'm just not there yet I got other stuff to learn what you want to do is you want to scroll down to this page see where this says installer zip that's what you want to download right there click on that and it is going to ask you to download it so just download it and once it pops up wherever you download it to then we're gonna exit once it gets fully completely downloaded we're gonna exit out of here oh it's still downloading hold on so basically you guys for those of you who have mods and CC what this app or program I guess it's more of a program what this program does is it lets you go into your mods folder and physically look at all your CC and you're able to remove the things that you don't want because you know when you download something and then it turns out looking janky and you're like oh I don't like this and it takes forever to figure out like what it is and get it out of your game this is like the best easiest way to clean out your CC folder it also allows you to tag things like you know how sometimes when you download CC it'll be like a sundress and they'll have it in winter or it'll be like you know an evening gown and they'll have it in sleepwear it allows you to re-tag things so that's really awesome as well because it's definitely a better way to organize all of your CC so that it, it is in the areas that you want it to be in so revolutionary you guys I'm gonna have it to hand it to little Simsy because she's the one who taught me about this um, I just learned about it through her so I'm now I'm teaching it to you guys uh, because I love to teach you guys the information that I know so we're gonna do this together let's get to it where is my downloads okay so we're gonna go into my downloads folder sorry if I'm sniffling every so often I have a tendency to do that and I apologize okay if you're gonna look right here this is what it looks like s4s Oh, by the way, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but for The Sims 4 Studio, you will need to create an account. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything. But in order to get the download, you need to create an account. It takes like two seconds. It's like, trust me, you guys, it's 100% worth it. So we're just going to open this. And when we do, we're going to install it. It's super easy to install. So you're just going to click yes. And um, then once we have it installed, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to open it up and we'll take it for a spin. Do you agree? I accept. I always thought it would be a really good idea for a horror movie to have like a program that people have to download. And somewhere in this part, there would be like a thing of like, you agree to be murdered in 30 days. And then like nobody ever reads this. So you'd like technically be legally agreeing to be murdered in 30 days. I always thought that'd be an interesting horror movie concept. What do you guys think? Okay, don't create a Sims. A st oh, I do want a start menu thingy majigger because I like that. And then create a desktop shortcut. I like that too. 
and then what okay so now it is installing and once it installs then we're going to open it up all right you guys so now that it is uploaded and installed this is exactly what it's going to look like so what you want to do is you want to go into this section right here called my cc guys guys this is flipping amazing i couldn't believe my eyes because you can use the sims 4 tray importer and there's ways to manipulate that to get rid of bad cc but it's more complicated there's more steps to it this is like the easiest so what you want to do is this is your cc folder right here oh, these are all the different little cc's that you have in your game so what you want to do is click on one and this is a pose let's get to something good it does take sometimes a little bit of time for things to load between um i just want to get to something that you guys are going to be able to see a little bit okay there's a dress so see this dress right here this is a dress if you want to get rid of it you just click delete and you'll be able to delete it out of your mods folder over here is the little tags on the right hand side so you can tag it for the people you want it to be worn for female or male you can tag it in the color box thing so that when you do color searches it comes up you can also tag it for uh different types of like whether it's going to be for uh you know athlete career formal blah 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 all that and then you could tag it for the weather whether it's going to be hot or cold there's just so many different type of oh i didn't realize this what is this archetype african caucasian middle eastern that is interesting i didn't even know that was there uh so there's just tons of different ways to customize things you can even delete swatches if you want to uh i'm not sure how to do that but i know that there is a way i'm still trying to get to like learn this all but isn't this great so like if you just click through your your mods folder you'll be able to see things it's it's completely amazing i cannot believe that this exists what an easy way to clean out your mods folder and get rid of stuff that you don't like and that you're not happy with holy cow so anyway you guys that is it for this video i will have everything you guys need linked below and i encourage you guys to download this because i think that you're going to find it as amazing and revolutionary as i do and it will make it so much easier to manage your mods folder holy cow all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up not only is it a nice thing to do but it totally helps out because youtube's algorithm and stuff is absolutely crazy and if you'd like more people to be able to see this video giving it a like giving it a comment giving it a share really helps me out so i appreciate it also if you like my channel and you like these types of videos think about subscribing and uh ring the bell if you do so you get notified because if you don't ring that bell you ain't gonna be notified from my amazing videos <laughs> all right guys i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to live every week like it's shark week talk to you soon